thing here. Oh, that's Josh running wide. Right, look how close they are. And away they go. The two Subarus get away fairly evenly. Kieran tries to go in wide. Oh, top hit Kieran. But Josh goes back on the inside. Gary goes wide. Mike goes up on the inside of Gary. Oh, there's a bit of a tap there. Oh, there's Craig has pushed Sam into the wall. Josh Hardy wins his second ever win and the second win of the day. Chris doing more rallycross in the BMW than actual touring car racing. And it's the first win for Mark Nickel in the Renault again. Joe's definitely going to get it. A fantastic win for Heafy on his debut event. His first ever win in the Nissan GTR. Unless Kieran can make a last minute dive. And he does. And Mark Nickel is sixth, which means he's the independent champion for season two. Craig Keller in the Nissan GTR is going to be a win for Craig. Craig Keller is going to take the win in this race. Craig Keller is your Season 2 Fat Crest Champion. As always, the reverse grid was drawn between the numbers 6 and uh, 13 this time, as there's only 13 cars, and the number 9 was drawn, which promoted Harry Cook onto the front row of the grid in his DC Motorsports BMW next to Craig Kellett in the Nissan GTR Fairlet Racing. Row 2 is Luke Knox in his BMW for Team Snap-on next to uh, the KNN Racing Nissan GTR of Mark Nickel. Row 3 is Joe Burrows in his HB Motorsports High and Die Genesis is next to Connor Hewlett in the uh, Subaru WRX. Row 4 is Kieran Thomas in the KTEC Mustang next to uh, Josh Hardy in the Renault Megane. Row 5 is Darren Parker in the second of the DC Motorsports BMWs next to uh, Rob Pellett in the second of the Elite Racing Nissan GTRs. Row uh, 6 is uh, the uh, Master Attenza of Aaron West next to the KNN Racing Nissan GTR of Mike Kuipers and on the back is Callum Baker after he retired in race 2. Okay then, we are ready for the Sunset Race 3 reverse grids and we have uh, Harry on the front row but uh, a good start for Craig Kelly in the Nissan and another good start for Connor but uh, he's not able to get up as far as he has done in the previous races. So Craig leading this race then and uh, all going through the first chicane really nice and tight all very sensible so Craig has got uh, Mark Nickel really pushing him for the lead of this race really early on on board with Mike, Mark then sorry as they go into the next corner Mark's taken a, a really tight turn over the kerbs and the two go into the first straight really really side by side close together with Luke Knox who's got to push for the lead of this race in the BMW Luke Knox from nowhere it's a three-way but <laughs> look at that it's a four-way now Connor is involved and out comes Connor in the lead but Connor's really unsettled left right left right Mark is on the inside again. Mark is back in the lead of this race. This is a fantastic start, and it's really kind of changed it, uh, changed it up at the start at the front then. And Harry Cook, I don't know where Harry's gone. Yes, he's dropped down big time. And so uh, we'll have a look, see if we can find out what happened to Harry. But at the moment, he's dropped down. And look who that is. That's Josh Hardy. So Josh is pushing for the lead behind Mark and uh, Luke. And that's uh, Craig on the left-hand side as well. They come down to the next corner. And Josh just, uh, he just anchors the brakes on. Oh, bit of contact there. Luke slowed down. Josh is in the lead. And it's all very messy. But uh, Josh has got to take a penalty now. So Josh is taking a penalty, a time penalty for the quarter cutting, no doubt. So back into the lead of the race is Craig. Kieran is now pushing for the lead. Side by side with Craig, with uh, Joe Burrows of all people behind. Joe, again, back up the front, uh, fighting for the lead. Can he maintain it this time after contact in the second race, pushing him all the way down to fifth? Now, Kieran had the, the win snatched away from him in race two after uh, the last few corners just didn't go his way. So he's back in the lead again. Can he get that last win? 
Mark is uh, still second. Luke is third. Craig is fourth. Joe's fifth. Connor's down to sixth. So he's been pushed down after possibly losing out uh, when he was tank slapping earlier on in the chicane. Darren is seventh. The winner of races one and two. Can he do something from here? Josh all the way down to eighth now. So after taking that penalty, that's uh, pushed him really far down. Uh, Rob in ninth still. And Harry down to tenth after having pole position. Aaron is doing well in 11th. Connor, uh, sorry, Callum 12th and uh, Mike is uh, bringing up the rear of the field. So Mark is still leading then. As uh, Mark takes that uh, lead away from Kieran. So Kieran's dropped down to third. It's constantly changing, as we said before. Let's uh, watch from Darren. And this is what Darren's got now. He's used to being in the lead. But early days, still only on lap one, just about to go on to lap two as they go around the last few really fast corners, sweeping left, right, left, right, and into the double chicane. Darren looking good here. Can he get past uh, Joe as uh, Josh is holding onto the back of Darren? Let's see if he can uh, get past him at the same time and that's actually a double overtake there by Darren Darren is up to fifth as he gets past both Joe and Connor and Josh tries to follow him but uh, Connor saying no and having none of it pushes him wide so Josh has to slot in behind in seventh so a chaotic first few first lap then so Craig now pushing for a podium behind Luke but Luke has uh, Again, showing some strong pace here in the BMW. So Luke is uh, potentially one to watch as well as Connor in uh, season four if the two enter in. So a test the season for Team Snap-on. They're not officially in the teams, but running as a team uh, to see if they can put together a team plan for season four. So Darren is actually now putting the pressure on the back of Craig here uh, and could be going up to fourth. If he does, he's well on his way to the front of the pack. The reverse grid has done its job and uh, really mixed it up, but uh, things are starting to settle now and the, uh, the same front runners are just edging their way back up. Josh really putting the pressure back on Darren. It's been Darren and Josh for a lot of uh, the race here at Le Mans and actually for a lot of the season. So, so they've been battling it out left, right and centre. Looks like Luke has taken a slight penalty there for corner cutting. So it slows him right down into the path of Craig. So Craig could get past him in the slipstream here. Further down, Joe's dropped down to 7th and uh, Harry up to 8th. Connor really dropped down to ninth now, so Connor struggling in this last race. So Rob Pellet could uh, potentially overtake Connor here for ninth. It's looking good in the Nissan. Has he got enough pace to get him to the next corner? I think he has. He has. And yeah. Rob takes ninth in ahead of Connor. It looks like Connor is going to want to battle it out and uh, get that position back. And it looks like they're side by side. So mm. this will continue on, no doubt. Mm. Still side by side. Can you believe it? Fantastic racing, giving each other the room they need. No pushing, no shoving. And Rob, whoa, gets it, but uh, Connor is really, really on the edge. Oh, Rob hits the gravel. So he hits the gravel, hits the wall. That's a shame. And that's actually allowed Aaron to get up ahead into 10th. So Aaron really uh, looking a lot stronger here, showing some pace. So he's got settled now. So Harry still in uh, seventh, and this race still. A train of eight cars all really quite close together uh, with the leaders still Mark and uh, Kieran so they've been battling it out for the last lap or so <clears throat> and Kieran 
is on the edge. You can see he's pushing that uh, Mustang to the limit, runs wide. And Luke is very close behind here, so... Did you see Mark battling for the win? He hasn't really been up uh, the forefront and had a win in a little while. So he could do it a good result. Had a really good start to the season. And his first foray into the team's game with Mike Kuipers. It's been a decent season for them, uh, if not a little frustrating and difficult to uh, dealing with their tyre strategy come having to race on hard tyres. Both of them have uh, struggled with the tyres, so something to take forward into season four if the team stay together. But a really, really strong showing. Currently third in the championship. They have been in seconds, but uh, DC have overtaken them after a couple of strong finishes here. But uh, this would be good for k &N if Mark uh, continues on to win the race. So let's go on board with Josh as Josh has overtaken Luke into third position. I have to say that Josh has been strong but inconsistent. He's been up the front, then down the mid-back, up the front, down in the mid-back, up the front, down in the mid-back, all throughout the race here. And he's going for the lead of the race and he could take it, but can he maintain it? Or will we have to take more penalties, slow down, back down to roughly fifth and sixth again or even spin out and that's a little bit of a push there he's right in the middle of the sandwich and he, yeah he's having to take penalties again so Josh dealing with those penalties so Kieran also looking like he's taking penalties <laughs> so Mark and uh, Luke now fighting for the lead the penalty is quite strong here uh, needing to be with uh, not very much uh, gravel lots and lots of car tarmac for runoffs so in order for the stewards to maintain the level of fairness across cutting corners and using the runoff as an advantage the penalties were uh, applied during the race and look at this the race is still a seven eight car race for the lead Oh, Luke's gone wide. So is Harry. Is that Harry or is that Darren? No, that's Darren. Darren's gone wide. Darren is down into eighth. And that's Josh is involved as well. So, as I said before, Josh is so inconsistent here. And he's just ruined the race for Darren. Down in seventh now, as uh, Josh did wait for him. So let's have another look at that. Uh, that looks uh, pretty... Uh, Serious accident uh, watching Darren spin out. So let's watch the replay and find out what happened. Let's watch Darren then as he goes into the next corner. Whoa! So in actual fact, it wasn't Josh. It was uh, Craig who hit him. So Craig is to be fault there. And Josh, for some reason, slows down. That's interesting. I wonder if Josh hit uh, Craig. Let's have a look at the onboard. On board with Darren. And there's the contact. So on board with Josh then. And let's see if he does make contact with Craig. Yeah, he does. And there's where Craig goes into Darren. And then eventually. Josh just waits for Darren to go past. So Darren's got a lot of work, as does Josh, to catch up to the to the leading pack here. Uh, it's actually allowed, though, Harry to get up to fifth. So Harry, strong showing now. He was the pole sitter after reverse grid draw and was pushed all the way down to ninth. Um nearly 10th and uh, he's back up to 5th now so could get some decent points here but it's still a 5 way Joe Barrows up to 4th now Craig 3rd with Kieran in 2nd and Mark Nicol has actually managed to gap Kieran and the rest of the pack so Mark is getting his head down and uh, putting some fast laps in and actually looking strong here Kieran 
is looking strong in second though so it could still be a fight on Still second, Joe on the back of uh, Craig here. And uh, Craig runs really wide. That's unusual for Craig. That's a mistake you don't often see. So Craig runs wide and loses a place to Joe and is now in the hands of uh, Harry Cook. So Harry could overtake Craig. That Harry really close here and it looks like he's got the job done that's a fantastic overtake by Harry nice and patient and gave Craig plenty of room but he's actually got Luke on him and uh, Craig is actually still side by side with Harry so I thought it was done and Craig got ahead <laughs> so is Luke so Harry's down to sixth So, further down, let's keep an eye on this, and this is Darren and uh, Josh. <clears throat> so, a little personal battle between these two here going on. A long way from the rest of the field. <coughs> oh, look at the slipstream. So, Darren putting the pressure on Josh here. Further down then, Rob. Another quiet race in ninth position. Just deadly quiet for Rob. It's almost like a, he's raced with no one, all three races. Uh, Aaron is in 10th. Callum is 11th, so it looks like two other people have dropped out there's only 11 cars in this now might be interesting to find out who they are we'll see if we can work them out as Craig still leading not Craig sorry Mark is still leading I need to get my names right <laughs> let's go on board with uh, Kieran Oh, contact there from Kieran. Pushes uh, Mark wide, and he just about manages to stay on the track. That slowed Kieran down into the hands of Joe. So Joe Burrows now could put the pressure on Kieran to take second. Oh, Kieran way too quick into the corner there. Contact with Mark, and he just about just about gets away with it drops down to third though and uh, Craig looking racy here so Craig could get past Kieran Kieran potentially could be dropping down even further if uh, Craig can get past him Craig really really pushing Kieran here as Harry is pushing Craig so <laughs> this is a very very close stuff going on so further down then Luke is sixth and quite a one for Luke so far Darren and uh, Josh aren't too far from the pack now so they're actually catching they could do some uh, damage to that pack and uh, get some better results as it which is not really expected. Rob, Aaron, Callum. So Mike has dropped out. I know that. And one other. So Mark is still leading. Uh, 
and Joe Burrows now in second. So let's go on board with uh, Joe. He gets the slipstream. And Joe runs a little bit deep into the corner and that's allowed Mark to get back up on the inside. A little bit of a push and shove, but uh, it's fair play. So Mark back up into the lead. Joe was temporarily leading this race, but uh, he stays behind Mark and will have another go at it. Running side by side again. It's really interesting to see how the cars differ. Look at the speed that Kieran's got there. Don't often get uh, long straights like this in the uh, the tourers, so really getting to see some of the differences in straight line speeds. Mark going quite wide there, potentially cutting the the, uh, the corner on the outside, getting the runoff. So he may get a penalty there. And there's a three-way into the next section of the straight down into the tight right-hander. It's a very very fast corner here. And it's the winners of the late breakers in the lead. Oh, Mark is leading now. So Mark gets it. And uh, as you can see, he was very, very quick into that corner. Late breaking. Going on board with uh, Luke on the back end of Craig. Oh, Kieran and Mark looking like it's uh, getting a little bit intense here. It is still a five-way. Oh, Mark! I don't know if he realised that uh, Joe was there. Uh, that was a, a quite a, a vicious move. I don't think it was on purpose. It was quite erratic and uh, it's uh, actually slowed them down slightly. So that's allowed Craig to get uh, on the back of Mark. Luke is still patiently waiting here, waiting for something to happen. And... Uh, as you can see in the background, Josh and Darren are catching. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Mark dropping to fourth now. So he was leading, as I said. But, uh, oh, that's Craig going very wide. I think he must have hit the wall. Joe goes wide as well. So late into this race again, uh, as it was in race two, it's really, really close now. Anyone's going. Mark runs wide again. <laughs> Josh is in the air and really close now really really close to this pack so this is going to get really interesting for the last lap you couldn't make it up after the spin uh, that uh, Josh caused oh contact there from Mark Mark is really really pushing on the back of uh, Luke so Luke is doing well in third so I said patiently waiting he's actually got ahead of Mark and Joe Joe was looking to push Kieran again for the lead of the race. He was fighting with Mark and now he's down to fifth again. So it's just how the race changes all the time. Really interesting. Kieran and Craig. So Craig Kellett is leading the race. So Craig hasn't been there in the lead of the race for the majority of the, the event here. He's had a little flash of the lead early in after the first uh, initial start up from the grids, but uh, that uh, lead was very, very small uh, and short-lived. As Craig now in third after, you could slightly tell the difference with the tyres there. So Craig and Mark now on the back end of Luke. And is that Kieran taking penalty, uh, time penalty for corner cutting? And that is Craig nearly back up in the lead again. So, oh, Kieran runs wide, runs deep into the corner, and he's slow out. So that's Mark back in the lead then. Mark is leading. Craig and Kieran are together. Luke is there as well. And look at that. Can you believe it? Darren Parker is behind Joe Burrows. So Darren is now a dark horse to take the win of this race because if everything falls apart for everyone else and Darren gets the slipstream and uh, times it right, he could still win this race. Josh has dropped down a bit further, so I think he might be taking some penalties himself. Darren's up to fifth now, so Darren into fifth. Darren, 
is Joe down to sixth. So Luke is still there. Craig is still there in third. Kieran is second. So on board with Kieran. Slipstream yet again. Kieran's going to go past Mark into the late breaking corner. Mark goes way too late and he goes into the barrier. So Mark is out of the game. He pushed his luck. Uh, look at that. <laughs> he gets on the circuit pretty well though. So that was interesting. We can have a little look at the replay um, from that uh, to find out. Uh, well, it's just it was Mark on his own. Uh, but uh, he just way outbreaked himself to push for that lead. On board with Mark then. Let's see if there was contact here. No, he just went off way too quick. Oh, big contact. That's great how he comes back on though. Impressive. On board with Craig, let's watch Mark as he goes off. And there he goes. So Kieran and Craig yet again are side by side for the lead of this race. Kieran's been there pretty much the whole of this race. Craig, uh, late into this race, has pushed for the lead. Uh, Craig goes wide, so Craig is in the gravel. Craig has spun out, so Craig spun out. So Craig is out of this game now. So this is really kicking off on the last lap here. Josh is there as well now. So, oh, contact. Darren is sideways and up to second. Joe is in third. Josh is fourth. Noxie is fifth. So Kieran has got a decent uh, gap now after everyone else is getting really, really caught up with each other. Kieran is on his way to take the 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 the, the, lead, the win uh, of this race and is comfortable as he goes around the last few corners so it looks like Kieran's going to take his uh, second win I think it is of the season in the Mustang but Darren is going to take an amazing second third oh it's kicked off behind kicked off between Josh and Joe so that is really going to be looked at no doubt uh, so that's very interesting so Kieran Thomas is looking like he's going to take another win as he comes around the last few corners oh but he's off in the gravel and he spins so Darren's going to take the win Darren Parker takes the win in the last corner where's Kieran going to come he's still in the gravel Luke is second Joe is third I think uh, Craig is fifth Mark is sixth Kieran's seventh in the end sixth he's sixth sorry after penalties Harry is seventh Mark is eighth so Mark must have had some penalties as well. Rob is ninth. Callum is going to take uh, tenth. Here comes Rob. I've nearly lost my voice after that. <laughs> Callum and Aaron are still battling it out here for that last position. It's tenth and eleventh. There's Aaron. Aaron goes wild right across. And he gets reset. That's never going to work for Aaron. Oh, but Callum's got to take penalties, time penalties. Is it going to be enough? It is. OK, so let's watch what happened here between Joe and uh, Josh. And uh, they were fighting. And there's the contact. Both of them go off. Look, yeah, a little bit of a uh, push and shove going on. Let's go on board with Josh. There's the contact, yeah, look. Hard to say with that one. Darren Parker does the triple then as he gets the win just in the last corner after Kieran goes off into the gravel. Luke gets second, Joe Burrows is third, Josh was fourth, Craig was fifth, Kieran all the way down in sixth after leading right into the last corner. Harry was seventh, Mark eighth, Rob ninth, Callum was 10th, Aaron was 11th, uh, and of course Connor and Mike both retired in the end and didn't finish the race. So what this means then in the driver's title, Darren Parker is leading the title with just 
177 to 174 of Craig, so that's just three points in it going into the final in Brands Hatch. In third is Josh Steele with 151. Fourth now is Joe Burrows, 146. So Joe really, really has shot up uh, in the last few uh, races from ninth up to fourth going into the final for HB Motorsports there. That's really good for Joe. Fifth is Mark. Uh, so he's just jumped up one space, 138. Sixth is Rob. So he's dropped down a little bit now. Uh, so seventh is Mike. So he's really dropped down himself as well after struggling on the tyres. In eighth is Kieran, 129. Harry is ninth, so he's dropped down a little bit. Uh, and then in tenth is Stephen. So Stephen's gone from third at the fight for the title down to tenth, 122. Further down, it's the normal uh, as everyone just follows on. In the teams, Elite Racing are still leading 375. But look at that DC. 370 so only five points in it and because the final will be a double points there will be a great fight for the teams potentially three-way there's K&N on 353 so anything can happen there so that'd be a great one to watch for the final HB 319 not too far away uh, but uh, an outsider really KTEC have got no chance for 254 uh, going into the final in the independence then it's uh josh who is leading 223 uh, connor 219 uh gary still on 160 luke 143 joe is uh fifth 98 uh callum up to sixth now with 90 points after getting some points with not very many independents in this one this time so that's good for Callum getting up to sixth. Tom down to seventh. Uh, Aaron is eighth, so he jumps up a little bit. To, and then Alan and Ben are still in ninth and tenth. Thank you very much for watching uh, here at round five for Le Mans. We go into the final round, round six, at uh, the Brands Hatch Indy circuit rather than the GP circuit. So join us then. We will watch the fight between Craig and Darren and many, many more. Uh, for the title in a week's time. So we'll see you then. Thank you very much.